Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Welcome to Mr. Morrow's Algebra 1 class. I can't wait for this year. It's going to be a great year. I know you're going to learn a lot. And we're going to start things off on the right foot. We're going to start with the basics here. Make sure you understand uh, what numbers are. These basic concepts are going to be building blocks upon everything else that we learn. So let's have a fun time and let's enjoy we're going to learn how to classify real numbers today, my friends, real numbers. And you can classify any number, okay, using sets. A set is a well-defined collection of objects. Each object is called an element of the set. And a subset of a set consists of elements from the given set you can list the elements of the set within braces. So for example, this is a set of numbers, 2, 7, 9, and 11. That is called one set. Each individual piece of the set is called an element of the set. And a subset of a set consists of elements from the given set. So a subset, a subset here, could be, for example, in this case, uh, 9 is a subset of an odd number. So that's what a set is. Today we're going to learn about the real number set. Okay, We're going to classify real numbers. So we're going to learn the real numbers set. And real numbers are any number. Fraction, decimal, um, repeating decimal, non-repeating decimal, uh, an irrational number, anything is a real number. So a real number, we're going to go ahead and encompass the whole entire number line because a real number is anything. So it's any number. Any number is a real number. Okay. Let's talk about natural or counting numbers. Natural or counting numbers are whole units starting with one. They have no fractions or decimals. So natural numbers starting with one. So we're talking about whole values like one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera, dot, dot, dot. That means it goes on forever. So whole units starting with one are called natural or counting numbers numbers. Whole numbers. Whole numbers are whole units starting with zero. There are no fractions or decimals as well. So basically whole numbers are natural numbers starting with zero. So whole numbers would include zero, one, two, three, four, five, etc., etc. Whole numbers are whole units starting with zero. No fractions, no decimals. Integers. Integers are whole numbers and their opposites. Integers also have no fractions and no decimals. No fractions and no decimals. You can, I repeat, you can have negative fractions, negative mixed numbers, negative decimals, but those would fall into the next category called rational numbers. Integers are whole numbers, which are whole units, and their opposites. So since integers are whole numbers, zero is an integer. Since integers are the whole numbers and their opposites, you have one, which is a whole number, and its opposite, negative one. 2 and its opposite, negative 2. 3 and its opposite, negative 3. 4 and its opposite, negative 4. Etc., etc., dot, dot, dot on both sides. So integers are whole numbers and their opposites. Now, rational numbers. Rational numbers is a very large set of numbers. And rational numbers are any number that can be written in an A over B form. In other words, they can be written as a fraction where B, the denominator, can never equal zero. Just as a side note, 
anything, variable or number, divided by zero is called undefined. It's impossible. It does not work. Okay? So if you could write a number in fraction form where you do not have a zero as a denominator, you have a rational number. Now, rational numbers include the natural numbers. Why do they include natural numbers? Well, the number 3 can be represented as 3 over 1, which is a fraction. So a natural number is a rational. Whole number, uh, let's say 12. 12 has a denominator of 1. That can be written as a fraction. So whole numbers are rational numbers. Integers. Integers, for example, like negative 6. Negative 6 is a denominator of 1. That can be written as a fraction, so it is a rational number. Fractions, of course, positive or negative. 2 fifths or negative 7 eighths. Those are fractions, whether they're positive or negative. They are integers. Likewise with mixed numbers. 2 and 3 fifths and negative 4 and 2 thirds, those are rational numbers. Positive or negative fractions, those are rational numbers. Terminating decimals. Terminating decimals are, are numbers such as 0.45 repeating. I'm, I'm sorry, that's a repeating decimal. I'm sorry about that. Terminating decimals are just like 0.45. They end, hence the word terminating. Sorry about that, my bad. Repeating decimals would be something like 0.45 with a repeating symbol over it, or 0.226226, and it just keeps going on forever. Those are rational numbers as well. Some examples of rational numbers would look as follows. Negative 5, that's rational. 3.775, that's rational. 1.535353, that's repeating, so that's rational. 3 fifths is a fraction, so that is rational. Okay, we're almost done. Let's look at one last uh, real number classification. And it is called an irrational number. And an irrational number are numbers that cannot be written in A over B form. They cannot be written in fraction form. Irrational numbers include two types of numbers. Non-terminating or repeating decimals, okay, they never terminate and they never repeat, such as pi. If you put pi into a calculator, you're going to see that that number goes on forever. That's irrational. And the next number number value I have next to it is 1.232256556235562. It doesn't repeat in any pattern, and it continues to go on forever, annotated by the dot, 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 dot. And the other type of number that is irrational is a non-perfect square. Okay? If you remember, the rational numbers have perfect squares. Okay? Let's go back here for a second. Let's go rationals. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't even mention it. For rational numbers, perfect squares are rational. For example, square root of 9, that equals 3, which is 3 over 1, which equals a rational number. Any perfect square is a rational number. Irrational numbers have non perfect squares, such as square root of 32 and square root of 15. Those are non-perfect squares because there are no two, num two exact numbers that multiply together, together to give you 32. So non-perfect squares are irrational. All right, let's do a little practice together, and then you're going to do some practice on your own. Identify which types of real numbers each of the following represents. Okay, let's go ahead and just realize that these are all real numbers. So we're not going to have to classify them as real numbers. They, we already know they're real numbers. We're going to classify them in the different sets they have. So let's call rationals R. We'll call naturals N. We'll call wholes W. We'll call integers I. And we'll call irrationals IR. Okay? 
So let's check it out. 2.6. What number category does that um, fall under? To which number set? Well, in this case, I hope you all thought of rational because it is rational. Number two. Well, number two is a negative eight. Well, I can write it as a fraction, so it's rational and it's also an integer. It's not natural and it's not whole because it is negative. 15 would be rational, natural, whole, and an integer. Even though it's not negative, please remember that integers are whole numbers and they're opposites. Square root of 81 equals 9. 9 is a rational, natural, whole, and integer. Remember, it does not have to be negative to be an integer. 3.682682, that is repeating, repeating decimals are rational. 6, 0, 0 is rational, whole, and integer. It is not natural because natural numbers are whole units starting with 1. 2.78, we have a terminating decimal. Terminating decimals are rational. Number 8, 22.36872596.3. Not repeating, not terminating. This is an example of an irrational number. Square root of 7. It is not a perfect square. That is an example of an irrational number. 33 and 1 fourth. 33 and 1 fourth is a mixed number. That can be turned into a fraction. If you multiply the denominator times the numerator, that gives you 132. Add the 1 to that, that's going to be 133 over 4. Any fraction, whether it's in proper form or improper form, is also a rational number. Negative 12, that is rational. It is also an integer. It is not natural because it is not greater than 1 It is or equal to 1. It is not whole because it is, because it is not greater than or equal to 0. And pi, pi is irrational. I hope this really made sense for you. I hope this answered a lot of questions about what real numbers were and all of their different cl classifications. I, ho I have a little practice um, PDF after this for you guys, so please go ahead and complete that. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Hope you learned a lot.